Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are talking about factoring algebraic expressions. Factoring algebraic expressions is the inverse of distributing. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are talking about factoring algebraic expressions. I know at this point you know how to factor, meaning the prime factorization of a number, or factoring my finding the greatest common factor of a number of numbers. In this factoring, we are going to be factoring algebraic expressions, which is the inverse of distributing what you have been doing in class. The first expression we are going to factor is 2x plus 4. I want to show you a few different ways. The first way we're going to talk about is a bar model. Here we have the bar model of 2x plus 4. You notice we have 2x's and 4 1's, making 2x plus 4. We want to see how we can arrange our 2x plus 4 into equal groups. Here you can see I was able to arrange my 2x's and my 4 1's into two groups that each have 1x and 2 1's. So that is two groups of x plus 2. Now I know you're probably not going to want to make a bar model for all of your expressions that you're going to need to factor, so let's also try to do this mathematically. The first step of factoring an algebraic expression mathematically is going to be to find the prime factors of each of your terms. So let's start with our 2x. 2x factors into 2 times x. Those are both prime, so our prime factors are just 2 and x. And we're going to go on to the 4. The prime factors of the 4 are 2 and 2. Those are both prime, so our prime factors of 4 are just 2 and 2. Now we're going to write our expression as a product of its factors. What I mean by that is simply to write the 2x as 2 times x and the 4 as 2 times 2. You're always going to write all of your terms in its prime factors. Now we want to see what factors our terms have in common. We can see that the 2x and the 2 both have a 2 in common. They don't have anything else in common. So we're going to factor the 2 out, and we are left with the x, the plus sign, and the 2. So 2x plus 4 factored equals 2x, sorry, 2 times the quantity of x plus 2. Now, I know if I did this correctly, I should be able to check, because factoring is the inverse of distributing. If I then take my answer, 2 times the quantity of x plus 2, and distribute that 2 back into the x and back into the 2, that's going to give me 2 times x plus 2 times 2, which gives me 2x plus 4. Notice that I'm back to where I started from, so that I know I have factored correctly. My answer is 2 times the quantity of x plus 2. 